right now, I want to welcome Dr. Peter McGahee, WVSA Olympic Development Program Director. Peter, welcome to the vlog. Marcus, thanks for having me. It's always good to uh, be on the vlog. Well, we appreciate you taking time out of your schedule. Um, the uh, WVSA ODP program had a, uh, from what I heard, was a very positive weekend down in North Carolina for the North Carolina ODP sub-regionals. Why don't you give us a, a quick recap of uh, what you saw and uh, how our teams did? Well, I, I think, Marcus, is, is the, it's great. It's, it's great to be here. It's great to sort of kick off our first ODP event uh, and kick off 2022 all at the same time. Uh, the, the North Carolina for friendly sort of provide our teams the opportunity to sort of jumpstart our ODP competition calendar, the opportunity for us to get out to sort of, we had some uh, evaluations and some training sessions in the fall, and this sort of cumulate comes on board and sort of runs with the idea that now it, it comes into these the North Carolina friendlies for our, our players to sort of compete and our coaches to coach together for the very first time. So it's always a little bit of the getting to ODP is a little bit of the getting to know you because again, not, not every, not all the players are able to attend all the training sessions. So we get to North Carolina and again, our coaches were energized. Our players are energized. Our parents are enthusiastic. And I really felt like it was a, a really great opportunity for our teams. Excellent. Uh, next event for the WVSA Olympic Development Program is heading down at the end of February to Williamsburg, Virginia for the Virginia Friendlies. Uh, uh, what do you think about that? Yeah, I think, again, I think it's another opportunity for our teams to continue to progress and our players to continue to progress. Because I think the, the underlying piece with ODP is sort of always the question that I think is out there in the general public is what is it? How does it work? why 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 should my players be involved in it well i think it's a, in a really in a really simple way the, these two friendlies events sort of provide the answer what what we look to do is is in each age group we look to form a pool of players again our hope is is that it's the motivated and most talented players in uh, west virginia within our particular age group and then from those pools of players then we select players to attend these events and then these events again, which North Carolina this past weekend and Virginia coming up here in a couple of weeks, provide our players a platform then to compete with the other top players in West Virginia against other top players within our region. And that platform then provides a really uh, good experiential learning uh, opportunity for our players to grow as players. So as I look forward to Virginia, as I look forward to our pools, I think we're going to continue to look to build on what happened at North Carolina for some of our teams. We'll look to add some players for, for, for some teams. And then again, we're going to look to go down there and, and make sure that we represent uh, West Virginia Soccer Association as well as we possibly can. You mentioned the adding a player. So I'm assuming that you're always in a recruiting mode when it comes to the ODP program. I think it's a place that, yes. And, and what I would say is I think it's a place where you use a term that's very, that, that's very common that I think it's a place where, <clears throat> but it's it, the, the difference between ODP and club with this idea about recruitment is we're going to invite players into the ODP program. We're going to invite players or select players to participate in our pools. We're going to invite them into tryouts and then that the players get to, come to tryouts, they get to participate in the platform, they get to do those things um, where we're always making sure that we're looking for the best players because, as we know, player development is not a linear line. Players grow, progress, pop up, jump up, really progress, move into West Virginia, for example, even program that happens to program directors too. So all of a sudden now that those players need a, uh, an avenue to be able to be added to our pools, at the appropriate place and time uh, within their picture. So the answer is yes, we're always looking to identify and then invite into our, our program uh, those top motivated players. As you mentioned, uh, you are new to the West Virginia Soccer Association, new hire of the ODP director. Um, what are your thoughts and what are your goals and what is your vision for the ODP program going forward in our state? I think the I think the the ODP program, Marcus, I believe is it's a program where I've been fortunate to have been involved in it as a player way back way back in the in the day, uh, been a state coach, been a, a state team coach, been a state director, 
been a regional staff coach, been a regional head coach, been a head coach of an entire region. And I think that the wonderful thing about all of those experiences for me that what it shapes is, is that the ODP program, after all those years, after all those renditions, is a still a really relevant platform for our players to be, to develop and to be identified. My vision is very simple. I want us to be able to have the best ODP po program possible to provide the most, an additional platform for our players to be able to grow and to be able to de be developed and then to be able to be identified at the right moment for them. For them. So what I mean by that is, is that ODP through its experiences, through our training sessions, through our games are going to provide opportunities for our players to develop. ODP works in collaboration and in conjunction with club soccer. ODP does not replace club soccer. ODP does not replace high school soccer or middle school soccer, for example. ODP just provides another developmental opportunity vehicle for players. Anytime players play against good players, with good players, with good coaching, they develop. They develop tools and they put those tools on their tool belt. That's what we're going to be able to provide with ODP because I'm excited about the level of coaching, the level of play, the level of staff coaching that I saw this weekend working with our players during our North Carolina event where really makes me optimistic about what other top coaches we can get into the program because I believe we have have a lot of the top coaches already, and I'm really looking forward to meeting some of those other top coaches as we as we look to bring them into our program to work with our players. And then I think it's the last piece, Marcus, is is, is providing the opportunity for our players to be identified at the right space. So what happens is, is that as players continue to play, as they seek youth national teams, as they look to develop, as they develop towards their high school teams, college teams, professional teams, national youth teams, full national teams, uh, it's sort of a little bit like the, the, the player pathway is a filter. They're going to progress. They're going to make progress. They're going to make progress. They're going to regress. They're going to make more progress. They're going to play. They're going to learn things. And what we're going to be able to provide for them as a West Virginia ODP program is at certain markers along the way, we're going to be able to have identified because our, st our staff will be able to do that, the right players to be able to be able to be showcased to uh, the right people and the right people with ODP is the people who are going to be selecting regional teams, teams that move up, then potentially even potentially people who ha will identify for the youth national teams. That's another opportunity to be identified with ODP. And then again, West Virginia ODP has a long history of collaborating with what's happening. What I would call is sort of the new emerging identification platform is, is professional soccer and the academies that are happening with the MLS is really there. And I, again, I expect on the women's side and the NWSL in the next several years to be able to have those, um, to have that platform with their, with their academies for the youth, for the youngest uh, women's players as well. So that's where ODP really is heading is, is that we're going to look to provide that professional first class pl developmental and identification platform for our players here in West Virginia. And I'm really looking forward to meeting other folks that want to collaborate on that mission and, and, and get after it. Dr. Peter McGahee, WVSA Olympic Development Program Director. Thank you so much for coming on the vlog today. I appreciate it. Thanks for having me, Marcus.